what's going on YouTube um, I want to do another like uh, double game review if you will uh, I know what to say on that but, uh, the other day I was at a pawn shop and uh, for 12 bucks I saw a copy of um, this game right here Operation Flashpoint Red River you know, it's a brand new fairly new game made in uh, 2000 it says 2010 but it was released in 2011 and it's a, uh, a first person shooter slash war simulator from uh, Codemasters and THQ yes I like THQ right there THQ and um you know this game's been getting a lot of mixed reviews you know like the game's good the game's too hard that makes it bad and all this other stupid shit but uh in all honesty you know me being a soldier myself this, this game is pretty fucking accurate for a lot of things it's not 100 percent accurate but you know, it, it's it's still a pretty pretty solid game uh you're a um, uh, assault team in the Marine Corps. Uh, you get sent to uh, Tajikistan, which I really don't know if that's a fictional country or not. And um, you know, the whole base of the game is just to go in there, infiltrate, and survive. And you have to use tactics all while defending yourself and other people in your platoon. And uh, also without getting anybody else killed. I mean, there is friendly fire in the game. Um, and if one of your teammates goes down, they're down for the rest of the mission. Like, I'm not sure if they're down for the rest of the game because I always end up restarting, but because I like it to be perfect in my games. But, uh, you know, it's one of the first games. It actually has bullet drop, you know, like uh, Battlefield 3 has. But this is not quite as good. I mean, Battlefield 3's bullet drop is a lot more accurate, but this, you know, actually was one of the first games I know of that had bullet drop. So, uh, you know, it's it's pretty good. You know, I, I give it like an 8 out of 10. It's, it's not like perfect, but it's really fucking good. The other game I review that I'm going to be doing, let's see if that thing's a little here. Yeah, I uh, rent it in because I don't know about the game that much. I'm going to read the name there Rayman Origins. Yes, I was actually a huge fan of Rayman and Rayman 2 back in the day. Didn't really play 3 that much. And then the Raving Rabbits I really haven't even bothered with. Because they look just either hit or miss. And a lot of the reviews are pretty bad. But, um, you know, I just got the rent of the game today. And, <laughs> well, I was going to say, I love it. It, it. it feels, looks, sort of looks, I should say. But it feels like I'm playing Super Nintendo again. You know, the old SNES. The controls are tight. They're solid. Uh, the animations are really, really good. Um, and, and the amount of detail in the game is actually really surprising, too. And, uh, you know, if you play the Rayman games, you know, there's a little tongue-in-cheek humor thrown in there. And this, this has got plenty of it. But, um, you know, it's a really solid game. Let's see if I can... This here. <clears throat> uh, yeah, my messy ass room. Don't Punching plateaus. Turn the volume just a little bit so you can hear.
I think it's really the first time that I've actually been able to do a review. while playing gameplay footage. You know, because I do not have a capture card. So this is very, very guerrilla style, but uh I know it's kind of hard to see all this, but uh. You know, it's just a little, little snippet of the game for you. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys that know about the game have already seen videos on. YouTube, but you know, I just wanted to give my thoughts to it. I mean, it's a really excellent game, and I think that uh, all the uh, reviewers and everything out there, people have talked about the game, have been giving it really, really low ratings to, to, to what it should be. But, I mean, like, uh, Game Facts, the average score is like 8.5, Metacritic gave it like an 83, which is good, but. I think it's lower than what this game deserved. I mean, this is this is an excellent game. You know, excellent animation, excellent uh, controls. It's nice and tight, and uh, you know, the overall gameplay is it's balanced. It's not unfair. Like if you play the game how you're supposed to, you'll do just fine. If you start fucking off, then yeah, you're gonna get your ass kicked. But uh, another plus side of the game is there's no lives. Per se, but I mean, like, if you keep fucking up, you just keep getting sent back and having to be forced to do the same fucking section over and over again. And, uh, I mean, you can pick up hearts, which will give you an extra hit, and so on and so forth. I mean, if you're familiar with the Rayman series, it should be, you know, almost close to home. I mean, there's a few more things added to it since Rayman first began, but, you know, this is still an excellent game, and I highly recommend it to anybody. It um <sighs> Yeah. Uh another side note. You know, back in the day when Duke Nukem Forever came out, I was giving this game some praise, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's it's people are talking trash on it, da 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 da. And uh you know, as time went on I ended up trading it in because I just didn't really play it that much. I don't want to pick it up again, but I really didn't want to spend th another 30 bucks to pay for it from GameStop, so I was like, yeah, I'll just, just fucking wait again, I guess. Then, uh, a couple weeks ago, I was at Walmart, and <laughs> lo and behold, brand new, still in packaging. I haven't even opened it yet, because it's supposed to be my Christmas gift. Do it in forever. Do to do. You know, still, same packaging, brand new, 10 bucks. So, I mean, for all you non believers out there that don't want to spend a shit ton of money on any possibly bad game, 10 bucks at Walmart. There you go. You know, there's no excuse for you not to play it now. And uh, another excellent game I got, which I know everybody knows about this fucking game, is uh, Dead Space 2. 20 bucks, brand new. Yeah, I already opened that one up. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna cut this video out now. Um, just wanted to put a few things out there about Rayman Origins and, uh,
the little known, surprisingly, Operation Flashpoint Red uh, River, because it's a really good game, and people deserve to actually know about it and experience it. So, um, again, here. You know, uh, if there's anything else you want to know, uh, another game review or something like that, let me know. I'll see what I can do. Um, as well, and you know, if you guys have actually been keeping up the track with me, up the track, up the date with my videos, you know that I got Rocksmith. So if there's any games for this that you want me to, or any songs I should say that you want me to perform or play, uh, just let me know. And I'll do what I can. If you know the uh, copyright laws on YouTube are pretty stingy nowadays, but you know I'll do my best to upload them. And, uh, yeah, and, uh, we're still keeping an eye out for Spiderhouse 2 information again. But, um, you know, and let you guys in the dark with that yet. I don't plan on it, you know, until, uh, Namco officially states not happening. I'm gonna be on top of this shit. And, uh, today I just found out my YouTube account was authorized. The video is longer than 15 minutes, so expect some longer ones down the line because I'm I'm going to be trying to uh, do some parody like videos or live action remakes and stuff so uh, you know of course for the remakes and stuff I'm going to have to get a hold of people that made the product and be like hey you know is it cool if I do this like I'll even send you a copy of the file and say, hey, you know, I just want to make sure that you're okay with us the way we're doing this. Because, um, and I mean, some of my friends are planning on doing some, uh, dick figure live action reenactments. So, who knows? I'll have to get a hold of the guys behind them and, uh, find out. You know, but hopefully, fingers crossed, because we got some pretty good ideas. And, uh, we're also gonna do some extra goofy shit. Like, uh, I was gonna do, uh, like, live action versions of the, uh, animated Tobuscus videos, or play on it, so we're gonna do, like, a live action version of Safety Torch, which, <laughs> we already got the guy to play with little boy, you know, we're gonna get him the footy pajamas and everything like that, and to make it really hilarious, I'm just gonna, like, order or find out a way to get a green Tobuscus shirt, and stand there and do this, do this ah, dance. All lip syncing the lyrics to the song. So it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be funny as hell. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. And um, yeah, I'm really I'm really starting to uh, drag this on. I'm just really tired. It's just 12:30 here. Everybody else is asleep. I can't sleep. Wife passed out on the couch, watching TV. So I'm just in the room. So yeah, I'm going to end this now, and uh, I'll let you know exactly when these things are going to pop up, if at all. I mean, so, fingers crossed, hopefully they will. And, um, yeah, that's about all I can think of right now, before I turn this into a random ranting video again. Uh, so, until next time, guys, take it easy.